How many of you have done this like me? You see a person that has a lifestyle that you are so excited about. You see another chiropractor, a business owner, a doctor, a dentist, an entrepreneur, an investor. You see someone that has a lifestyle that you would love to have. They take vacations when they want to take vacations. They have the home of their dreams. They have everything that they want, yet their life seems so effortless. They're able to, you know, the pictures you see of them are always golfing or doing things that bring them freedom and joy. How many, do we, how many times do we always ask, what does that person do? Well, today I have for you a person who has, for a young age, has achieved a level of success that many will never, ever be able to achieve. And it's not because of how they were brought up. It's their mindset. They lack accountability. They lack a giver's mentality. They lack the, the, the desire to always focus on being your best self. Um, this next person that we're going to introduce you guys to teaches that leaders are readers. He reads books constantly. He's always bettering his mindset. He is always bettering the fundamentals of his life so that he can put his faith and family at the forefront of his life. So it therefore gives him the freedom to do everything he wants to do while empowering tens of thousands of people to have success. Today, we have for you podcast number 69, Accountability is the Way to Freedom. And here he is. Without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to the man who solves these problems for thousands of people. This is my dear friend, Coach Gomez. Coach Gomez has over 500 agents that he mentors on a day-to-day -day basis. He is on track to bringing in over 500 agents. Coach is the, is the regional vice president for Primerica here in our area. And this guy touches the lives of over 20,000 people through his agents and himself and his own business on a day-to-day -day basis. Coach, welcome to the podcast. Hey, Doc, thank you so much. I, I, I'm super grateful to, uh, to be here. I'm excited, right, uh, to, you know, to, to bring value to people. And I know you certainly brought value to me, so I'm excited to, to give some back. Well, I appreciate you. So, Coach, I want to... Um... I know you and I were talking and you and I have known each other for a little while now. And it's interesting how the most successful people and the most affluential, influential, wealthiest people, the, the biggest givers of philanthropists, everyone that I know who's on a level of giving that is just a whole new level of giving, we can't give, you and I believe, you can't give what you don't have, right? You That's can't right. give what you don't have. You can donate time, but you can't donate big time. If you have to, if you're a slave to time and money. And so that's one of the biggest things I found uh, that, that, that I love about you and what you teach is I love that you teach about being your own best self and you teach other people how to become their best selves. Coach, let's talk about why you have become the coach's coach. Why do you have so many people who follow you and how did this begin for you? That's a great question, Doc. So I, I'm a big believer in, uh, in in personal growth, right? And uh, I, you know, I believe that lead, everything rises and falls on leadership. And I, I believe that whether it's whether it's yourself that you want to grow an organization, right? First, you grow the leader, and that has a ripple effect in your, in your organization, right? Every one of us, whether you know we run a business or a church or a family, we're the leader. And I, I think part of that is, uh, you know, a, a better leader is a better reader. And there's times that people will tell me, well, coach, I, I don't I don't know that I necessarily like to read, but when I'm in my car, I listen to certain things and I'm like, okay, you can't live your life on mental candy, right? You really got to pick up a book, you know, and uh, right. and I think I attribute to, to you know, that, you know, to to being able to grow and also associating with, with wonderful people like you and, you know, and, and learning from you. I know a couple of weeks ago, we went out and had, we had, we had lunch and I was able to, to, uh, to learn about you and your successful habits and it, it it was a perfect picture of why you're at where you're at because of your you know because of your habits and um and your success and, and i think for me that's a that's a part of you know when i look at that that's how i've run you know people ask me you know well when you look at the income when you look at success it's like i always say well that's the income and success is really just a byproduct of the value you offer people yeah and it shows in the way you grow you, you, you absolutely hit it. 
um, so many of my uh, colleagues ask, um, you know, from, you know, from our doctors to other entrepreneurs, other business owners, small business owners, big business owners, people wanting to take their lives to the next level, people making paycheck to paycheck or people who are like, man, we've got it, but we want to, we want to be able to now give more. They always ask the almost the same question. Hey, so what do you do? Like, as a chiropractor, how do you get patients? Hey, as a chiropractor, how do you make this money? Hey, as a chiropractor or, you know, as a, you know, with some of the other businesses that we run, hey, how did, what, you know, it's almost like asking a story like, hey, did you just like hit the jackpot one day? Like, tell me what that one thing you did and you hit it on the head. You know, you, you teach and, and you live the principle that I live. Tony Robbins teaches this. Dave Meltzer teaches this. Um, Jay Abraham teaches this. A lot of our mentors, right? They teach that leaders are readers. Um, I read on minimum two books a month. And then every year, um, I read some cores, you know, some core books over and over again, like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, you know, there's several books. But if you, um, I, I firmly believe that what you think about um, daily, this is what attracts me um, you know, to you and your mindset is what you think about, you constantly talk about. So if at night, if every single night you're winding down watching movies or you're, you're, you're drowning out on Facebook, you know, to each their own. But I have found that the most successful people aren't drowning out in the noise. They are only getting better every single day by pounding at their craft, by mastering their craft. Look at every right. great who's ever lived. Look at Kobe. Look at Jordan. Look at LeBron. They're the first ones there. They're the last ones to leave, even at this level of the game, because it's about the fundamentals. Now, could you probably give, and, and, and by the way, you guys, Coach is going to give us some pretty amazing things. We're going to have a PDF for you guys at the end of this with some of the pearls that coach has learned um, that if you implement these strategies in your personal life, it will only, it'll help your bottom line. It'll help your bank accounts, which we're all concerned for. Um, and we're, we're going to drop that for you, but it's about the fundamentals. If you aren't waking up every day with purpose, if you're not a student of your calendar, knowing exactly what has to happen, what's going to happen is you are going to lose focus. How many times coach, I know I'm sure this has never happened to you, right? Cause it's never, ever happened to me where you have 87 things guarantee that has to happen on your palate that day 300 more things pop up and you realize that you only did five of your 87 most valuable things how do we get off track it's because we lose priority we lost track of our priority and we let anything else come in the way so you going over these principles these fundamentals is is key and and that's and that's what brought you here you know and we're here in Colorado um, and that's one of the things that brought you here to Colorado was you help solve some pretty mega problems for some family members. And then you basically, your empire just took off from there. Would you mind sharing your story on that? Absolutely. Yeah. Th thanks, Doc. Uh, I, I wanted to say that, uh, you know, change people, change people. Right. And, uh, you know, that, that's a big part of it. And as you're, as you're talking about, um, you know, being a student of your calendar, I, I, I agree. And it's the fundamentals are everything, you know, Vince Lombard, all the greats with, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, you, you know, all the greats always believed in the fundamentals and even Vince Lombardi, you know, the way he started his training was he would say, gentlemen, this is a football. Yes. And I mean, you know, all these experienced football players, they know what a football looks like, but he started with the fundamentals. That's everything because, you know, really uh, repetition is a mother of learning. And as you do that every day, right, that's how you create a habit, right? But, um, you know, the thing for asking me, Doc, so I, I, about my story. So I, I've been here in Colorado now about about uh, six years. And uh, I, I came out here uh, because there was a really bad accident here in Denver uh, a couple of years ago where, where three kids were killed by a drunk driver. Uh, unfortunately, one of the kids that passed away was a, was a cousin of mine. Just, uh, just was a devastating time in our family, as you can imagine, Doc. And uh, uh, about a year after that happened, I followed up with my auntie here in Colorado to see how she was doing it. You know, she was devastated. Uh, you know, as a parent, emotionally, you know, that's the last thing you and I ever want to think about is, you know, for something like that to happen, you know, in our family, you know, it's worse when it's a kid, you know, but financially, Monty was even worse off. She hadn't gone back to work that whole year. She's a nurse for Rose Hospital here in Denver. And I asked my auntie, I said, auntie, why don't you have some sort of a, a savings account, a, a insurance to help you get through those moments? And you know, Doc, my, my, my auntie said, no one's teaching or educating anyone about of those things in the minority community, right? And Doc, when I looked at that, you know, I found that it wasn't just, you know, lack of information in the minority communities, but really, you know, it, it's affecting everybody. 
But on top of that, what I found, Doc, is that there was something bigger impacting not you know everyone in Colorado. And matter of fact, everyone across the country is the fact that everything's gone up. The price of food, the price of rent, you know, uh, the, the, the price of homes, right? Everything's going up, traffic, gas, except incomes, wages, right? I mean, everything's going up except incomes and wages. Right. And that's the reason we decided to come out here to be on a crusade, to teach and educate families on a better way to, to not just save money, but understand how money works, right? So that just as hard as, as you and I are working, we need to have our money working that hard for us, right? And, and, and also understand that the less that you and I know about money, the more these companies take advantage of people like you and I. You know, so time that we really empowered each other in understanding simple concepts that we teach, like something called the rule of 72 that yeah. tells us how long it takes for our money to double, right? Uh, understanding what a mutual fund is, understanding just fundamentals, like the rule of 72 is a fundamental, right? Understanding life insurance, right? What, what's the difference between you know, a, a good life insurance and, and one that's not so good, right? Um, you know, um, also business, right? Is when we came in here, right? When we got to Colorado, I opened my doors to find great people that were looking to, you know, to do something special with their life and not just make a dollar dot, but make a difference in the community, right? And, and, and really, it really learning, learning how to provide value for others, you know. And now six years later, we we've grown to to be the top office, you know, a month in, month out, year after year, uh, because of the great people that we have in the organization you know, that have that reached out to all four corners of the state, but really across the country to help other people, you know, and, and, and really sh is shown, um, you know, shown value and, and teach and teach simple fundamentals that someone can use forever. You know, um, I, I'll tell you one of the things that, that one of the, one of the things that I've always been focused on is, um, is a lot of my agents, right? And even when I talk to a client, I, I always, uh, I'm always focused on growing the organization. And I'm, you know, I, uh, even though I teach these things, I always tell people, be, I'm not in the transaction business. You know, a lot of times people say, hey, how can you never really talk about life insurance or, or investments or selling me stuff? And I'm like, well, I'm not in the transaction business. I'm in the transformation business, right? And, and, and offering value through that, people will always be like, man, what do you do? You know, and, and part of that is really, is me just being interested in other people because doc i'm a big believer that as you become interested in people 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 become interested in you if that Absolutely. makes any sense right you hit that on the head and that's that's a principle that a lot of our mentors especially dave Meltzer, teaches right be more interested than interesting when you can truly look at a person and ask the questions open-minded questions that can help change and transform their life they will give you everything. And that's what we teach. And that's what I teach a lot of our business owners is how can you in a moral and ethical and a loving way, how can you transform people? You can't transform again, what you aren't. You have to be able to have those personal skill sets, those fundamentals. You have to be able to, you know, you need to be reading. You need to be waking up, uh, uh, you know, early. You need to be going, you know, and, and you and I talk, like when I go to bed at night, I don't think my day starts at 4 a.m. because I get up about 4 a.m. Um, my day doesn't start at 4 a.m. My day starts the night before at around 9 o'clock. My mindset goes into all the things I get to do that day. Not that I have to do. Everything that I get to do, I go over everything. And I'll tell you, my day before 7 a.m. is already as if I've worked 24 hours. I have so many things I've already accomplished. I feel fulfilled. I have so many tasks that I've checked off. So when that happens, when people come in front of me, uh, my focus just gets more intense uh, yesterday, we saw like 115 patients in our practice. And on top of that, every patient that came in, I felt more invigorated. I felt like I understood my patients better because I asked more questions. I'm interested in the people around me. And guess what? By the end of the day, we had 18 people who had referred friends and family members or colleagues or loved ones in. Because when people know that you truly care, when people know that you are the person who has a solution to their problems, not only number one, they will pay you to solve their problems. Um, <laughs> my wife and I were talking about a, a little concern I had. And I said, okay, I have a person who can just solve that problem for us. She's like, really? We don't have to do it ourselves. Let's just pay them to do this. And we are so blessed to be in a position to do that. When you are the solution to people's problems, they will pay you for it. Right. But more importantly, if you are the solution to their loved one's problems, they will do whatever it takes to pay for that. 
Right. And, and that's what you, that's what you invoke in people is you, is you help people become their best selves and they pay you handsomely for it, which is funny. Yes. And, and I want to, I want to share with, with doc is that, you know, from the first time I met you, you know, I'm a big advocate of, uh, of, you know, of, of going to the chiropractor and I, I really believe yeah, you are. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I tell everybody, I probably talk, you know, in my office, I probably talk more about that than anything, but really I, I attribute that to, you know, to clear thinking, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, because I always tell people, you know, um, you got to go to the chiropractor. And everybody said, why do you say that? And I'll say, look, because it, it really helps the way you think. It helps clear your mind and think better because you can't solve a problem with the same thinking that got you involved in it. Yeah. So as a part of growing, you also got to do other things that help, you know, give you mental clarity, you know, and, um, you know, because it, and people, uh, you know, when they when they hear me say that, they're like, wow, this, you know, you really care. And that's important, Doc, because. I, I'm a big believer that people don't care about how much you know until they realize how much you care. And right. when I went to your office, Doc, from the front desk to you know <laughs> to you, I felt like you you truly cared about your your people. You know, I you said you don't just need an adjustment. We want to make sure that we look at everything so we don't miss a beat, right? And I and I truly felt that you cared about my family, and you do. You care about everybody. Um, and I, and I love that, right? I, I love that feeling that, that you cared. And, and, and um, you know, I, I felt like you touched my heart before you touched my neck, right? So <laughs> that was a big, and, and you know, but, um, but that is important. You know, people kind. care about how much you know to realize how much you care. And, and you've done a great job of that, Doc. But, you know, and, and you saying some things too is, is there's um, going back to a few things you were talking about, like being a student to your calendar uh, and uh, growing income, stuff like that. I, I do want to say that, you know, in us being here six years, it took, a, you know, it took me, I, from when I got here in 2016, I went from zero in income to over $50,000 a month in income in just 18 months. And uh, we've been growing that over, you know, uh, m month over month. And this year, you know, the, uh, you know, as long as we keep doing what we're doing, how we're growing, you know, we're looking at, at netting over a million dollars, you know, over, over the next 12 months. And it's just by growing the organization. You know, but and and it's not just it's just not it's not just me doing stuff, but it's the organization that I have uh, of people who are out there, uh, you know, providing value. But I think the biggest thing is is accountability. You know, you, you talked about growing your account, right? But if if your account is not where you want it to be, you're probably not accountable, and you got to be accountable to somebody. You know, even whether it's this, you know, even if it's you you being accountable to your calendar. You know, I think for those yes. those of us that have a partner. You've got to be able to, you know, to be accountable to somebody and say, hey, this is what I'm, you know, this is what I want to do, or this is my income, because sometimes we forget the income part, Doc, right? And, and uh, I'm a big believer that income, uh, that your income, well, that's a, it's a byproduct yes. of the value that we offer. So, um, you know, it, it's just, um, we want to feel fulfilled, right? And that's a great, you want to feel fulfilled, but a part of that is, is you want to know that, you know, the income is a little bit of a measuring stick, you know, for, for where you're at. If not, there's something that you've got to grow. You know, if you're not growing, you're dying. There's no such thing as stagnation. And that's where you need to be accountable to somebody, you know, so that your account grows too. Yes. And, and, and that is so key. I find, um, and we talk about this a lot, you know, when we talk about that, having an abundant mindset, the abundance mindset, that the abundant mindset comes in once you do every single day, but accountability is is key. And I want to I want to clarify the difference between accountability and liability. You know, for example, if you get rear ended, you know, were you the one liable for that? No, if someone hits you, no, you're not liable. But there's always something you can be accountable for in your life. If I were to get rear ended, coach, you rear end me, you know, and and I'd say, oh man, you know, was I a little distracted? Did I have my radio on too loud? Was I on my phone? You know, was I, could I have, you know, been maybe more aware? Was I a little stressed out? Was I, you know, there's always things that you can do for accountability. And I'll tell you, when you keep pointing blame at someone else, I find I've, I've, I have a buddy who, uh, that, that I coach, that I mentor, and, and he has come eons in the last several years, eons. So he's a chiropractor and this guy's kind of a lone wolf, but he, he, he didn't have the strategies, the mindset, the self-discipline, the accountability to do things on his own. So he'd work for other doctors. And in 11 years, he had nine different jobs for other doctors. And every time he'd say, well, they accused me of doing this. So I got fired. And then he accused me of that. So I got fired. And, 
And so, but it was always someone else's problem, not him. And I said, so I listened. I listened to him. I asked a ton of questions. And I said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna coach you on something that you can, you can either, you're probably gonna want to spit in, you know, spit in my face, punch me, slug me. And I said, but you have zero accountability for your actions. And I said, and even if you had the worst luck on planet earth, you just, I mean, everything you, you know, every dice you roll, just, you know, you lose everything you do, every, every, you know, coin you put in, you lose. I go, you have zero accountability for anything you're doing in your life. You have none. So you need to be accountable. And I said, I'm not talking about liability. I'm talking about accountability and to see his mindset change in that where he now has a podcast that he runs is very successful. He now has a very successful chiropractic business. He now has a, he has a, he's just starting a coaching business, but he's one of those prodigal sons that changed. And the key for him was accountability. He started learning the fundamentals that he thought, well, I'm already a doctor, so I've got it all right. Absolutely not. Like you said, growth doesn't stop. You don't just hit one level. It's always going to be, uh, there's always going to be a state of being better there's always going to be a state of growing. Like, you know, when we're growing up as kids, you know, when we're in a, you know, a size eight shoe and also when you go to a size 12, your, your feet are going to hurt you. They're going to hurt because growth is a, is a, is a, is a state of abundance, meaning there's more coming your way and there's going to be some growing pains that comes your way. And if you don't have the proper fundamentals or the understanding, you could cut a hole in those shoes and, and kind of make them do, or you can invest, buy a new pair and be grateful for the growth that's coming. Cause I see so many people that don't have the, they don't, they don't have the right people. They don't have the right tools. They don't have the right systems. And so they're kind of wild west shooting everything in their life. And there's no discipline. There's no rhyme or reason to their day. And that's where you just literally see like, you, like you did what today? You did what yesterday you did, you know, there's no system. There's no accountability in what they do. So I love that you spoke about mm -hmm. that because Every person we talk to, every one of our mentors we interview, everyone who is people that I aspire and I would like to be because I want to be able to give more. Um, our, our core values are the same as Primerica. Our, you, you and I, our core values is we put faith and family first so that I can have the freedom to do everything I want to do. I want to be able to give big. I want to be able to give bigger. And I can't do that if I don't have it. Right. Right. That's big. You know, I, I want to add to that, Doc, is that, you know, I always tell people when you you know, when you point your finger, you got a couple of fingers pointing right back at you. That's right. You know, and it's like, you know, it, and the accountability is big because, you know, I, sometimes, pe you know, people say it's, I don't have the right mentor. It's because of this. And, and I, I don't have the right this. And, and, and it's like, it's like, okay, listen, it's wherever you go, there you are. Right. So the problem, maybe you, you know, it's a, you know, many years ago, they interviewed uh, Elizabeth Taylor, right. And she just was talking about how she just couldn't, you know, she just had terrible husbands. And I don't know if you know this doc, but she had, she had eight husbands oh. and she talked about how, and at some point, right, there was one reporter that asked, so eight, do you at some point think that you may have been at fault or do you think it was all eight, right? And that's like, you know, cause that's sometimes that's what you, it's their fault or it's that it's, uh -huh. you know, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, especially today, you know, where, you know, it's uncomfortable, Doc, to be, you know, to say, you know what, you know, it gets better when you get better, right? At some point, you got to say, man, wherever I go, there I am. So, man, okay, let me look at, let me, Michael Jackson was right, you know, uh, you're not alone and it starts with the man in the mirror, right? So, that's big. I love that. Um, and and you're, you're absolutely right. Um, you guys, this is one of the reasons we have Coach on here is, is Coach teaches the principles that he lives. He, he doesn't, he doesn't teach one thing and live a different way. He literally shows you what he does to get to this level of success. And you guys, I, I would encourage you guys, um, and we're going to leave a couple of links below. And for those of you guys who are interested, um, all I got to do is just drop us a message below with your email and we'll send you a PDF of some of the things that coach lives in his life that has led him to this level of success. And the momentum is just, I mean, your velocity right now is insane. You know, to see how large, how, how far and large you have, have grown and become and to see where you're going, people underestimate what they can do in like a year, um, you know, maybe like five years. They really underestimate that um, or I apologize, overestimate. Um, they think, gosh, how, how come I don't have 
hey, I did this thing that coach did. How come I don't have 500 agents? How come I don't have, you know, a million dollars coming in? How come I'm not touching the lives of 20,000 people who's then touched the lives of 100,000 people who then touched the lives of a million? How come I don't have that reach? Well, we, we, we overestimate what we can do in a year, but we severely underestimate what we can do in 10. Yes. And to see the lives that can be affected, not only your life, but you guys, you have a moral obligation to play big. You have a moral obligation to be your best self. If you are not, if you are not honing in your self-mastery, what we think about, we bring about. If you're not feeding yourself with positivity, if you're not saying cancel, right, coach, we talk about that. When anything negative comes into your mind, now, if we're gonna, if we have a problem, finding a solution to that problem, like, hey, coach, you know, here's a problem I have found in my personal life or my business. Here's what it is. I've been trying to figure out what has caused this. What are your thoughts? There's no problem with that. But saying, coach, man, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm so stupid, man. I'm overweight. Cancel. I'm fat. Cancel. <laughs> yeah. We have to right. change how we think. And if we can't stop it here, the moment it comes here. The tongue will lash and sting more than the sword. We have to be careful how we talk to ourselves because the voice in our head is critical. If the voice in your head is filled with love, if the voice in your head is filled with positivity, if the voice in your head is constantly giving to others, you attract exactly what you are. And I'll tell you what, the world is exactly what you think it is, 100%. And when you give love, it only grows. You cannot help a single person without helping yourself. But you also can't hurt somebody without hurting yourself. And I'll prove it. You remember the study? They've done two different studies. They've done one on plants and they've done one on water droplets. They basically take three plants, same soil, same feed, same seed, same sunlight, same exact water. One, they just let sit. The other one, they will play um, evil music to it. They'll, they'll have people shouting, screaming, vile, hatred things to it. And you watch it literally shrivel and die. The, the other one on the far end, same everything. They speak love. They speak positivity. They speak kindness. And it overgrows its, its potting soil, its container like that. They do the same thing with water droplets. They would speak hate to one put a water droplet on a container on a, on a little uh, glass slide, freeze it. And they would watch it under a microscope and they would, it would freeze. It would discolor instead of being a beautiful symmetrical snowflake. It would gnarl the other one. They would speak love and kindness and it would be symmetrical. It'd be gorgeous and beautiful. You guys, the voice you talk to yourselves with is going to be based on what you're feeding yourself. If you're not surrounded by good mentors or people who are 100% in your corner, this guy, he's in my corner, a thousand percent. If I if I told this guy, hey, I need you to speak at this thing I'm doing. I need you. Hey, I need a t-shirt today. I, I I had an accident at the cleaners and man, I'm missing a t-shirt. Coach would be there. I guarantee you within minutes or find someone that could get me a t-shirt because that's who coach is. Coach is one of my mentors. Coach is one of my dear friends that I surround myself with because he is at 1000% on board for my success. And that's why I want to put coach into your corner, you guys. So we're going to put a PDF below of some of the things that coach has implemented in his life. And by the way, I know coach, I mean, the first time I met you coach, you don't, you're, you're the way you spoke to me. I thought you were in your fifties. I told, I told my, my team, I said, this is the healthiest like 50 year old I've ever seen. Like this guy is crazy <laughs> because of your mindset, because of what you talked about. I'm like your knowledge, looking at where you've been guys, coach isn't even in his forties yet. <laughs> Co coach is a uh, coach is a genius because of the principles he's lived and because of the mentors he surrounds himself with. So you want coach in your corner. So we're going to put some information below for you guys. Um, all you have to do is just say, yeah, I love the PDF. Um, give us your email. And then we'll go from there. So coach, um, I'd like to give you a last few words before we close out here. I want to thank you so much for your giving heart. I want to thank you for being who you are that only empowers um, everyone around you and empowers me. It's an honor to be, uh, to be linked with you and to have you in my corner. What are some of the last words that you would like to share uh, with those who are listening today? Uh, thank you, doc. I, I truly appreciate you. I, 
I, you've been an incredible blessing into my life. And, uh, you know, um, you know, one of my prayers is, uh, you know, one of the many prayers I, I always have is, uh, you know, that God, um, eliminate the wrong people from my path. And, uh, but also that he gave me, the, that he gives me the strength to let the, you know, the wrong people go and that he put the right people in my path. And, um, and also, you know, to, to, you know, to recognize the right people on my path, you know, because, you know, sometimes, um, you know, sometimes, you know, we have the right people in our path. They're telling us things that we don't want to hear it. Right. And you're one of those people for sure that you've been, you know, you, you've been a uh, really positive. So I'm, I'm grateful for you. And, um, you know, I, I guess I, I want to say that, uh, that I want to, you know, I, 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 part of what I want to do is continue to provide value. So, and, and uh, you know, introduce you to other people because I think you're such a blessing, you know, to to many many people, to your clients, friends, family, and, and I want to introduce you to more people. Right? And I'm, we're going to be seeing you're going to be seeing my team soon, right? But yes. I, I guess I, I want to say that, um, you know, one of the things that I want to say is that, you know, sometimes you, you know, in talking about money, some a lot of people have hangups about money, and one of the things that I want to say is that, you know, really, uh, as I always that money is just a byproduct of your habits, your thoughts, beliefs, right? Is, um, is, is knowing that money just flows to those of us who solve other people's most pressing problems. Yes. That, that's pretty much it, you know? And kind of like what you talked about, you have a problem, you tell your wife, we'll pay somebody to take care of it, right? So, you know, and, and understanding that is, and if you're like, well, then I, 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 you know, I'm offering solutions, you know, but you know, when you think of people that don't make money, it's like, well, they can't even... They can't even solve their own personal problem. That's why they're stagnant there, you know. But I guess the biggest thing I could say is, um, you know, that uh, I'm really excited about life right now. Everything is growing, you know. Um, you know, um, I I think in life you're you're either about to go through some crap, right? You're going through some crap, or you've just come out of some crap, and that and that's definitely, you know, a, a lot of you know, you know me uh, personally, Doc, and you know, there's been some things that have happened to me that are ugly, right? I but I'm a big believer that, you know, you've got to turn, you know, what you're being tested is you got to turn your test into a testament and be an example of faith, you know, and I, and I guess that the biggest thing I could encourage you, encourage others is to, is to really get one with, with God and, you know, and, and have faith and, you know, follow that. And I think, you know, for, for me, I think 99.9999, right. It's been, you know, it's been because of my faith. So, I encourage you guys to follow that, you know, but uh, Doc, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me on this morning. Oh, thank you so much for that, you guys. So um, for those of you who, who want to, um, who understand the value that we've been preaching of being able to be a student of your calendar, to be your best self, to be able to have accountability, to be able to have self-discipline, to be able to then understand strategies of wealth building strategies of investing, of getting life insurance, um, and, and understanding those principles. So uh, I'm going to be speaking to coaches, uh, a group of agents, couple, about 100 or so agents uh, next week, which I'm, I'm just so honored to be able to do. And, um, and we'll put a link below and we'll do it each week, you guys. So coach does a live session and he also videos some of the things that he teaches on a week to week basis. So I'd love to put that um, uh, in the link. And then um, coach is part of our group, you guys. He's going to be able to give us um, some sound advice and counsel. When he talks, I highly encourage you to act. And there's going to be some huge pearls that he drops that literally will make you millions. And there's going to be huge pearls that drop that make you who you're supposed to be that'll help you live your potential. So coach, we appreciate you, my brother. I'm grateful for you. And I uh, look forward to, I guess we'll be seeing you probably at the office here sh uh, shortly. But, That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Grateful for you, my friend. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Doc. Have a great day.